Ever since MatPat's theory dropped, the FNAF community has been full of controversy, dividing into two opposing factions. The Gregbot believers and the people who are wrong, I, I mean the Gregbot deniers. Before we go any further, I just want to be clear, while I'm obviously on Team Gregbot myself, you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I sort of hate the fact that I find the evidence so compelling, because honestly, I think the idea of Gregory actually having been a robot the whole time is dumb. Just really dumb. That said, while I may not like it, that doesn't mean I can just ignore what I feel is strong evidence supporting the theory. Both the Gregbot believers and deniers cite a lot of evidence to their respective causes, but by far the most discussed and most contested evidence is the fact that a very noticeable analog distortion appears over Gregory's vision when viewing Vanny, even when outside of Freddy. The Gregbot believers cite this as the strongest evidence that Gregory is, in fact, a robot. In short, the theory is that Vanny's presence causes analog distortion, similar to that of an old video camera, the implication being that Gregory's eyes are artificial. There is a lot of other evidence that suggests Gregory is a robot, but MatPat already covered most of it, and if you're watching my little video, you've almost definitely already seen his. If not, go check it out after you finish this video, of course. Faced with such compelling evidence, the non-believers arrived at the only real plausible counter-explanation, that Vanny is carrying an illusion disc. If you aren't aware, illusion discs are weird devices that can trigger hallucinations and warp perceptions to those around them. They're, uh, they're from the books. Notably, one is used to make an obviously mechanical animatronic appear human to those around it. The non-believers argue that Vanny could be carrying one of these illusion discs and that that's why Gregory's vision distorts when she is near. It certainly appears to be plausible at first, and it would disprove the single strongest evidence in support of the Gregbot theory. However, when one looks deeper into it, the illusion disc theory just doesn't hold up to scrutiny, and here's why. 1. The visual effect is incredibly distinct. It's not just some random hallucination, it's very clearly analog video distortion. The effect is so distinct, I'm incredibly skeptical of the notion that it wasn't included deliberately as a subtle nod to Gregory's mechanical origin. If there's one thing the FNAF games have always done really well, it's hiding deliberate clues in places that initially appear trivial. 2. Vanny carrying around an illusion disc holds no significance to the plot of the game. If Gregory is human and this visual distortion effect is caused by an illusion disc, why? What's the point of including it in the game? It doesn't add anything to the story, it never gets brought up, it holds no plot significance whatsoever. At no point in the game do we ever get any indication that Gregory is hallucinating. If the effect that shows up when Gregory sees Vanny was intended to be an illusion disc, surely said disc would have come up elsewhere in the plot too, no? Surely it would be relevant somewhere? If not, then the only reason they included the visual distortion was to look cool, and I just don't buy that a FNAF game would do something so deliberate, yet holds no significance. I like to do my call to action short, so if you've enjoyed this video so far, please consider giving me a like or a subscription. Thanks and back to the video. 3. Even while looking through Freddy's eyes, we the player can still see Vanny. There's a ton of glitching and distortion, but she is visible. This implies that Vanny isn't using an illusion disc to hide herself from the robots. She's clearly just hacked Freddy and the others to simply not register that they saw her, even though they clearly did. If she was truly invisible to the animatronics, we the player wouldn't be able to see her while looking through Freddy's eyes in this scene. Again, we're literally looking through Freddy's eyes, and we can see Vanny, yet immediately afterwards, he says, You didn't see the dancing rabbit lady right in front of us? No, I did not. There is no rabbit at the Mega Pizza Plex. Not anymore. Conclusion When you break it down, the illusion disc argument only holds up in the sense that it gives an initially plausible non-Gregbot explanation for why Gregory's vision glitches. However, if you actually think about it, Vanny running around with an illusion disc just so there can be one cool visual effect in the game that holds no significance and never comes up in the plot, it just doesn't make any sense. The argument doesn't hold up to scrutiny. The Gregbot theory has several pieces of evidence supporting it, but the illusion disc theory has none. It's just a counter argument. If it's true, there's no other evidence supporting it, it plays no role in the game. The illusion disc explanation is a purely theoretical argument developed by people who, like myself, think the idea that Gregory being a robot is really dumb. I get it, it is dumb. As much as it sucks, I do think it's an accurate theory. 
I do believe Gregory is a robot.